most students are familiar with the zero exponents, but no one told you how you can go about it. A lot of students know that a to the power of zero equals one. But how did you arrive here? So let's use five to the power of zero to demonstrate that. Five to the power of zero is the same thing as five zero. You can have it as one minus one. Of course, one minus one is zero. So five to the power of zero is the same thing with this. So this, you can split it by using the product property. The product property states that, or the product exponent, whichever we want to call it, product rule. When the bases are the same, you take the common base and then you add the power. So you have one plus negative one, plus negative will give us negative, so which is the same thing. So this is the same thing as five to the power of one times, according to negative exponent, this will be transformed to one over five. But the, this negative sign will change to the inverse or reciprocal. So the next thing we want to do is to say five to the power of one is five times one over five. This is same thing as five over one because five divided by one is still five. So one times five will give us five, and one times five will give us five. Five times one, one times five. Five divided by five is one. That's a proof.